Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. We have two Colorado Bigfoot reports for you. The first one is an encounter with two Sasquatch. The second is from a man that believes he has a photo of the Bigfoot included in this video. Colorado boasts the most Bigfoot sightings reported in the Rocky Mountains. This includes the U.S. and Canada. Here's the first report. Tanner writes RMSO after watching a Bigfoot video on our YouTube called Lara Deadbolt's Doors and stays up all night after an encounter with a giant lanky arm Bigfoot. This is what Tanner states. The area is known for sightings. I had one myself. That sign was not put up as a goof like many people think. I spoke to somebody who works for the Park Service on Pikes Peak. There was a string of sightings in the 90s. People freaked out and demanded they do something, so they ended up putting the sign in on the Pikes Peak toll road as a result. That's what she told me at least. Just taking her word for it, though. She seemed to know what she was talking about, so I have no reason to doubt her. Seems reasonable enough for me. But who knows? I know exactly what she is talking about. In the sighting report video, I lived basically the same area just a few miles up the highway in neighboring town, which is practically connected to Cascade. I had a sighting of two running past me about 30 yards away, up the slope of the mountain while I was hiking off trail. Both were gray. The pine trees look more gray than brown, so it would be excellent camouflage. I got a better look at the second one as the first one caught me off guard and I went into shock for a few seconds. The second was smaller than the first, but still noticeably taller than me. I would say a little under seven feet tall if I had to guess. I'm six foot three. The second one was still in sight but running with its back to me. When it hit me, what was happening? I freaked out and ran for the trail, which was about 200 yards from where I was. I sprained my ankle while running towards the trail. Around the time I fell and got back up, one of them yelled. Not in necessarily an aggressive way, though. It had a strange tone to it. I could hear movement from what I assumed was another one just around the ridge that the first two came from. I got the hell out of there. I continued going to this area and began leaving food, which they did not take at first. I would spend nearly every day off hiking up to that area. I have seen several size Bigfoot tracks, 18 inch, 15 inch, and 12 to 13 inch tracks that I saw very consistently near where I would leave food, as well as random other things. Had several more experiences, but that was the only time I actually saw them. I eventually moved out of the state for a couple of years to help my dad due to health issues. But I moved back to the general area recently, going to try and start getting back to the spot as I know they go through that particular area regularly. And if you look at it on the top of a map, it makes sense why. Enjoy your channel. Thanks for the content. The next one is a purported Bigfoot photo sent to us by a gentleman in Colorado. Cameron writes RMSO saw this years ago on a hike. Thoughts? RMSO responds, hi Cameron. What did you see before you took this photo? Did you film the subject too? Cameron continues, Nah, no video. This was in 2009, I think, and taken on a Blackberry. But we were hiking in Colorado and saw it, but no matter how we moved, it looked the same. Later we came back behind it and only found a large pile of pine straw. RMSO asks, Did you take other photos showing the spot and just a pile of straw? Cameron, No. But one of us ran back to the point of view of this photo to see if it was our mind playing tricks on us, but we couldn't replicate it. RMSO states, What part of Colorado were you able to estimate the height or find any tracks? And Cameron never responds to these questions. Hope you enjoyed a look at the number one Bigfoot sighting hotspot in all of the Rocky Mountains. That includes the U.S. and Canada. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.